old sometime vessel. Z Garcia, hello. <laughs> I'm Scrooby Doo. Apparently, we're going through a Gen Con preview where we're taking a look at all the games, blah, blah, blah. You can go watch and watch episode one where we talk more about that. We're just going to jump into this, but just a quick caveat if you haven't figured it out, we're going backwards through the different companies. Why? Because, because it was Z's fault. It was a carefully planned decision. We start with the letter Z. Okay, we're starting today with Tasty Minstrel. Tasty Minstrel has a small card game called Thieves Market. I don't know much more about it than that. Um, the artwork looks nice. And then Guilds of London, which is going to be the one release that people are running for. This yes. They had some at Origins. Gone. Gone. So I would, I would imagine the same thing will happen This here. is one of the big hitter Euro games this year, I would say. There, anyway, at Gen Con. Yeah. Yeah. It was also... It was also a huge hit at UKGE as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I just by that comment, I more meant when Essen comes around and all the big Euros hit, yeah. and I don't know where it'll be, Yeah. but it's a good idea for this kind of Euro game to release at something like Gen Con because the Euro game competition is lesser there. I guess. Really? Like, extremely lesser. In fact, the next big Euro game is probably from the next company, which is Stronghold Games. Mm -hmm. um, now, we give... Steve, a lot of garbage. Maybe I. Um, I don't give him any garbage. <laughs> yeah. It's all you. Anyhow, I but he, I think, has his strongest slate of games being released at Gen Con than he's ever had. He has some really good titles. City of Spies, that's real 1942, is a reworking of a game that came out at uh, Essen last year, which I really loved. Glad to see that one coming back where you're placing tiles down, just fighting back and forth. Trying mm -hmm. to, it's an area control game. Tiny expansion for diamonds. It's a thief. That's minor. It's like a one. No, actually, that's a one card promo, if I'm not mistaken. All right. That's the the pursuit of happiness, which is about. It's basically life for Euro gamers. Where is that not out? It came out at Essen again, and he's redoing it. With it was from our Artipia Games. No, I know that, but I thought his reprint was out already. It's not. I don't believe it is. Okay, there's maybe a cup, a copy or two floating out there, but it's coming out there. That's okay. correct. Um, then a craft wagon. This is the other big V6 edition. Yeah, right? the V6. That's the other big Euro V6. game. V6. And then his two most anticipated games: the Dragon and Flagon, which I just had a chance to play. Really enjoy it. It's a barroom brawl. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, really, that's what it is. You're jumping yeah. on tables, throwing mugs at each other, throwing chairs, pushing benches into each other or tables. You know. Swinging from the chandelier. It's a bit of a program movement game, but you'd only program a couple moves ahead, so it's not too terribly frustrating. Mm. <laughs> I've only played it once, so there's the caveat. I want to play it again. I think uh, you'll. But it suffers, in my opinion, right now, just based off of one thing. It suffers from that thing where if you do something that takes more time units than everybody else does, you're sitting there for a long time waiting for your next turn to come oh, back around. Okay. Um, and for me, that, I mean, in this game, the one game that I've played, I sat there for maybe five, six minutes between one of my turns and the next, just watching everybody else have fun. I don't think it was that long, but... No, it was. It was a long time. And again, maybe that was just a perfect storm situation where it just happened to be where I played my big thing and everybody else kept playing small things. So... Again, I want to play it again. I think again. you would I like the other side. There's I, pirate ships yeah, and there's yeah, yeah. treasures I, that you're picking up and I running I didn't around. not I enjoy cool. it, so that to boy. speak. I loved the tongue-in-cheek nature of the entire game where you're like just throwing chairs and pushing tables and just pulling smacking people rug outside. Out, right? Pulling pull the rug, the rug out from underneath people, flipping tables. I love the tongue-in-cheek nature of it, um, but I just need to get some more plays in it to see if I really, truly enjoy it. Or well, Not a problem. One thing. I'm keeping it. Cool. So, all right. Terraforming Mars is the most anticipated game he has coming out. This is from Frick's Games. And it's a, it looks like a heavier Euro game. Yeah, definitely. About, well, Terraforming Mars. This is one of the many Mars games coming out this year, but this is the first, so it has that advantage. I believe it's the first Mars game out. And so, again, there's not a lot of those bigger, heavier Euro games at Gen Con, but there's a few. And I think if people want those, they're going to be running for Stronghold. And that yeah. theme is just... All the stars aligned for that theme to be right. the theme of the Four year. Gen Con, yeah. 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 Stonemaier Games is not there with a booth, but someone will be selling Scythe for them. So I'm sure people will run for that, and it will sell out first day. <laughs> I just yeah. really think so. Just because of the buzz it's been getting. Mm -hmm. uh, Stoneblade has Ascension X. That's a very good... That's the 10th expansion for uh, Ascension. That was out at Origins. It's already out on the internet. Space Cowboys. Now, they have two games there. Via Nebula, 
which has already been released and we've had a chance to, uh, we played it. It's like a train game. It's very beautiful components, but it's a very light-ish one. Right. Um, it's like, up. It's like um, if you ever played the old game Transamerica, it feels like that a little bit hmm. with more punch to it. I think this game, I'm kind of worried, is going to be the kind of uh, release that will fly under the radar. And I just want to say, if you are someone who enjoys mid-weight Euro games, do not let Via Nebula pass you by. I think it's fantastic. Hmm. I really like it. It's on my list, even though it's released. Is it's, it really? It's, it's a great game. It is quick. I mean, I love that the game gives you a nice punchy feel, but the turns are so quick. I mean, you'll do a couple of things, take a look at your board and kind of, and read your cards and it's your turn. It, it just zips by. I really like it. Hmm. All right. Well, I really like Transamerica, so I got to play this. Yeah, I think you might like this one. I think one. you'd like it, yeah. yeah. I like the look of it. The next game has your name in it. Hit Z Road. You have your own road? And we're going to hit it. Don't oh, I, hit me. I hate this name. I really do. It's such a dumb <laughs> well, name. It, it got changed. It, yeah, well, it, was, it was Route 666, which wasn't a great name anyway, but right. they changed it because there was another game with that name. But Hit Z Road is about zombies again. It but look, it's by Martin Wallace. It looks like it was going to be, or they played it up. They hit the road, but they crossed off the with just a Z Doesn't pattern. Doesn't make any sense, And now though. it's a Z No, thanks. For I got zombies. that. I know what that is. I'm just I saying. Hate the... <laughs> there's, there's, there's reasoning behind it. There's no, it doesn't. No. Hit Z Road. Reason. It's the I reason. know they're pushing this game big, though. That means. Zombie Road, man. Hit the Road, Jack. Jack. Don't you come, come back no so more, so more, so more, so more. Hit the Road. All right, anyhow. <laughs> but they're going to be pushing this game pretty big at Gen Con, so that's one to look out for. Um, Smirk and Dagger has an expansion for Nevermore called Spectres of Nevermore. And then Jacques. Jacques! I know Jacques has been getting a little bit of buzz. I actually, I'm more excited to check out that expansion for uh, Nevermore. Really? That, that's a neat card game. Hmm. And not a game I expected to get, not, not the kind of release I expected would get a, an expansion. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm glad to see that apparently it's doing well enough for it to get an expansion release. on your list. Uh, it's not on my list, no. It's not on my 14 here that I'm excited for, Just but... trying to provide yeah. some... Yeah, yeah, contest. yeah. No, I mean, it's a small expansion for a game I... I think I ended up getting rid of, actually, for space reasons, but it was one I had at one point and played I, and enjoyed. Every every game we get rid of is for little, space reasons. Nevermore is a little card game. Again, we're, we're not, not mentioning small. every game that's coming out at Gen Con. There's just a lot of them. I mean, there's, you know, Brass Empire from Rock Manor Games. We just got to copy this, but we don't know much about it. It's a deck building game. Mm -hmm. Rio Grande has Dominion Empires, although that was released at Origins. I really like it. One of my favorite expansions as far. And Tiffin, which I hate. Um, <laughs> Repro's production. I'm excited about this. This is actually on my list. What is it? The Online expansion well. for Cash and Guns, yep. Team, Team Spirit. Team Spirit. I like the whole, first of all, that's a name I do like. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> no, but it lets you put on teeth, and there's three more guns in it. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> okay, anyhow. All right, let's jump to Renegade Game Studios. Now, we had a chance to see some of these games early. <laughs> um, Brick Party is a reprint of uh, a game that came out of Essen from a smaller company, which is essentially Legos, and you're building uh, something, and your teammate is telling you what to how to build it. Right. I tried to do this. I'm horrible at it, apparently. It yeah. sounds like it would be very frustrating. Well, the frustrating one is there's sometimes you have the thing like you have to build it with, that, with your eyes closed or whatever. The hardest one is building it with one hand. You ever try to build a Lego structure with one hand? It's one thing when you put it together, then you need to take two bricks apart with one hand. Really hard. Depends on how they're shaped. Well, because, let's, say, let's say there's I mean, two fours can, and you, you put can them like together use straight the table on. and break it. Well, yeah, I, I mean, know. They're like but when there's a timer going. Square. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it just seems like it would be very. I haven't played it, but it just seems like it would be very. I tried to do it live when we interviewed them at uh, mm -hmm. at Origins, yeah, and it was like. Kark, kark. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Exactly. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Clank. Uh, Clank, Clank. I don't know anything about. All right, Dicey Goblins. Dicey Goblins looks like one, it is. Yeah, it's sitting on my on my to be reviewed pile. Actually, hoping to get that out soon, and it is. Ink and Gold meets one of those dice, like zombie dice games. Ooh, I'm in. So it's, Sounds you know, good. push your luck. Do I keep going into the dragon's lair and get more dragon eggs? Or do I book it? But the flip of a card in something like Ink and Gold is replaced by rolling a couple of dice. 
And then they might come up eggs, which means, okay, there's more there to be split. Or it might come up uh, footprint, which is, uh, okay, that die's gonna get re-rolled. Or dragon face, which if you roll three of you those, eight. you just got burnt. So it's almost like, huh, to bang the dice game? Where you roll three of something and... But it doesn't feel, yeah, but it, it feels like ink and gold very much so. Ah, well, it sounds fun. Diamant, whatever. How Whoops. does it compare to Potion Party? <laughs> Lotus is a game also coming from Renegade Game Studios. This one is one of the most pretty games I've seen in a long time. Yeah, have it's a gorgeous looking game. We make the flowers. Do we have patterns. this one? No, no. No. Oh, man, it looks great, though. And then um, Covert, mm -hmm, which, which I just, just reviewed. You can go cool check game. that out. It's a, a spy themed uh, sort of dice placement, worker placement, but with dice. It's got a little bit of um, code breaking in it. It's It's got a good amount of different. Mechanism going on, but it's a good game. It's a little, it's a little slow of a game. It feels ponderous is the word I've been using for it. But Ooh, ponderosa, ponderosa. That's not, no, Yum. but it's but it's a good game, <laughs> and I enjoy it a lot. At, uh, at two players and three players, both great. Red Raven Games keeps coming out with games that people are always going to probably be running for. And this is one Islebound. Mm -hmm. um, this is on my list. Yeah. Well, I mean. He just keeps hitting it every time he comes out with the game. You know, again, it's still amazing me that he produces, does the art, graphic design, and designs the games, and yeah. none of those are bad, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, and so, and people keep liking him. Islebound is certainly on my list to go check out as mm -hmm. soon as I can. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Rebel Dream Home. Rather Dashing Games says we come in peace. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any. Pretzel Games, flick them up. Red Rock Tomahawk. I'm excited about this one. I get to shoot arrows off the Native Americans. Hmm. Like off of the piece? Yeah, you like put the, the guy down, and then they have like this little crossbow yeah, thing, you, and you, you put a, a, a it looks like a stick up. from um, Settlers of Catan. Okay, like a and road. Then, uh -huh. Right, and then you shoot it, and you flick it, and it, come on, it's amazing. And the tomahawk, you just set it up on the table, like on its handle, and then you flick it. Okay. Come on, it's cool, and you know that it. That does look cool. That looks, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's neat. All right, so now we are at Portal Games. Oh. <laughs> this is a particularly hot year for Portal, I have to say. Yeah. It is. They, well, I don't think people will be running for Rattle Battle, Grab the Loot, Angry Ocean, but that expansion is there. It looks like it's a small expansion, but I do believe both their other games are going to be super hot. Tides of Madness is yeah. the Cthulhu version of Tides of Time. Tides of, Tides of time. time. And it's, it's sweet. I think I did a review of this. Uh, and it's tied to time with a little bit more on top of it. They changed a few of the cards. They added a whole new mechanism where you can now go insane if you don't Which play really right. Which really increases the game enjoyment for me. Yeah, yeah. It's a solid little game. And then Cry Havoc, which went from being kind of a no-name, then after they demoed it at Dice Tower Con, and yeah. then everyone who demoed it was like, Rah! to now the point where it's uh, certainly one of the most anticipated games at the con, I think. Yeah. I really think this will sell out there. I think deservedly so. Oh, I love this that. Is this is not only is it a good game, but it's also a step out of Portal's wheelhouse, mm -hmm. and it's still a good game. I mean, it's a really good game. Right, right. Uh, it's not just a yeah, that's not bad. This is like, wow, and it's so outside of their wheelhouse. They did a really good job. With yeah, but this. if it fits in that category for me, that that category that I know I'm not alone in enjoying, right. where it's some Euro mechanics, but there's some combat with beautiful miniatures. It's the same category. I'm not saying it's like Blood Rage, but it's the same category of Blood Rage. It's the same category as Kemet. And those games are very popular. It's Euro yeah. Thrash. Euro Thrash. Breach 18 and Breach18.com. <laughs> All right. Any, anyhow, I really think Portal games will do well. And then, since we're talking about super hot things, Plaid Hat Games, they have some Ashes expansions. And I'm sure the people trying to get those will be having to fight their way through the line of people getting Seafall. <laughs> I right. mean, no, don't get me wrong. I'm, Ashes expansions are great. And yeah. that game is certainly growing in popularity. But Seafall, I'm calling it now, going to be the hottest game of the con and probably not enough to fulfill one-tenth of the demand. Nope. Uh, if you're only going to get this one has... game and it's on your list, you probably should run for it, I would imagine. Update. Ah! News. Yes, you should run for it. I don't know whose phone there that was. There will only be one billion copy. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know about that many. But Seafall, if you don't know what it is, it's the new game from Rob Davio. And um, is it just Rob who did this one, I think? Yes. Uh, it's using the legacy system where there's exploration. It's kind of, I, I, That's all I know, actually. Basically, if you need a new game that you ruin as you play... 
get you some sea fall. Um, are, you, are you excited for this? Is this on your top 14? Oh, yeah, it's definitely yeah, this on Is it in your top? Yeah, definitely. It's my number one, baby. So, I mean, it's definitely <laughs> on my list, man. Not only do I, I, am I anticipating it for the legacy aspect of it, I'm also anticipating it for the nautical theme that oh, it yeah, has to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm uh, excited for that. I mean, that's just a really, I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's underused, but it just, a lot of, it, it there aren't a lot of really good games that use that theme. And so I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah, we're excited about playing it when we, well, this will be probably the first game I play after Gen Con when we get back and we'll give you our thoughts on it as we play it and see how it, yeah. how it works. Yeah. All right, well that's part two of our Gen Con preview. We ended, we ended pretty strong, there were some great games. We'll see you guys in the, for our next video. Until then, I'm Tom Vassell. Z Garcia. I am not a crook.